one. He is Mattress Mac, and he is in Houston at headquarters, but we know that here in Louisville, this will be the nerve center of horse racing in uh, just a matter of days or hours, or depending on when you're actually consuming this. Jim McInvale, who we know also from Run Happy, who owns that sire, and uh, so we've certainly been very familiar with him, but $2 million that you're going to put on essential quality. Have you figured out how you're going to play the $2 million? Is it going to be a straight win ticket, or are you going to get a little bit uh, creative with it? Ryan, I think it's going to be a straight win ticket, but I may bet some uh, exactos as well, some high-dollar exactos, uh, obviously wheeling uh, essential quality. So it should be an exciting day in uh, Louisville at the wonderful Kentucky Derby. I can't wait to get to Louisville and uh, watch essential quality, hopefully win and win lots of free matches for these customers. Okay, so let me at least clue everyone in on that, because certainly you've taken the time to be with us. I want to at least give you the stage to offer what Gallery Furniture will be doing. If you buy, what is it, a $3,000 mattress, and if Essential Quality wins, you get the refund on the mattress, right? Right. If you buy a mattress, $3,000 or better, have it delivered before the Kentucky Derby. If Essential Quality wins on Saturday, then your mattress purchase is 100% refunded, or you get 150% back in in in-store credit. So it's a great deal, and six out of the last seven Kentucky Derbies conducted on the first Saturday in May have been won by the favorite. So based upon that statistic, 84% chance of getting your money back and getting a great night's sleep, free, free, free. Yeah, I like it. Uh, you, you, you ought to be in this sales business a little bit there, uh, <laughs> Mac. I mean, that's the a... born pitch man. That's right. <laughs> Let me ask you this. When and where will you place the bet? Because I know a lot of us who watch the tote board will be eager to see that thing go from like five to two to one to five. You know, that's, that's the big question. Uh, a lot of people have told me I should bet uh, Friday. I won't be there, but I got people that'll be there. Uh, I might might bet a million dollars on Friday and then uh, bleed it in Saturday. I might might wait Saturday till a couple hours before the race and bet it all. So uh, I'm still strategizing on that. Obviously, it's going to affect the pool, but you want to uh, do it early enough to where there's some value on the other horses for the other betters. So the whole idea is to get uh, a big value on the other horses and get some action on them as well. Will you make it a photo op so that we will know when that transaction takes place so we can turn around and look at the tote board? Should be, yeah. It should be a photo op. And I'm wiring $4 million to church for now, so I may go more than $2 million, but right now $2 million is the uh, is the desired number. To that end, I mean, as a guy who's been known to make a big bet or two, will you hedge against this bet as you watch the tote board, or even for that matter, futures in Las Vegas? No, I, I, all the money I'm betting on this race will be bet at Churchill Downs. I'm a Kentucky horseman, and I really admire the fact that Churchill Downs does so much for horse racing and then reinvest the money in the purses for the horsemen like, like myself and for all the great horsemen in Kentucky who invest so much time, effort, and energy into this game. So all the money I bet will be at Churchill Downs, and I may do some wild exactions and trifectas and superfectas, but essential quality would be the key on all of them. Okay, and that was where I was going to go next, because will you go vertically? Will you be looking to bet deep in, like you said, tries and supers? Will you look at the tote board to give you an indication, or are you going to start to maybe start looking on the form and maybe start looking at the horses themselves? What's your strategy in terms of putting together vertical, or for that matter, multi-race bets? Well, I've got some people who know a lot more about gambling than I do that are helping me on this, and... Uh... I, you know, I'm a promoter, and I, I've promoted this uh, mattress promotion. It's gone very well. Uh, the Kentucky Derby is an iconic event in this country, so everybody knows about it, and it's helped the promotion. And then I'll, I'll get with these professionals to show me how to do the exact to try, super effective, depending on how much money's in the in the pool, like what's happening, and what's the best value, uh, you know, underneath essential quality. Mac, you'll stay away from me if you're looking for experts. I, uh, my return on investment rate is not good even when I win. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I might be following you around a little bit. Why essential quality? Is it simply because he's the favorite, or did he catch your eye for other reasons? Well, the promotion is if the favorite wins the Kentucky Derby. And okay. Since, uh, you know, obviously, four or five weeks ago when he won the Bluegrass, he's been, uh, you know, favorite, especially after some of the other horses dropped out. So essential quality, I think, will be a pretty solid favorite. and. Uh, all of our money is going on the favorite because the favorite wins. Then we can get all the free matches for all of our customers. 
Yeah, it's interesting, too, when you talk about the favorite. I mean, in a sport like this, the favorite can still get you a decent price versus when you're going, let's say, the, you know, the cap on your head in a team sport like the Houston Astros or, for that matter, in any other, you know, two-choice event. Are you someone who's not afraid to play the chalk in horse racing? I, I, yeah, I like to play long shots, and I'm obviously playing chalk in this one. I was talking to one of my gambler friends yesterday, and he was bemoaning the fact that I was probably only going to get two to one on uh, Central Folly. And I said, that's better than the Houston Astros in game seven of the World Series minus right. 150. You know? Yeah, exactly. And, and with that, too, I mean, how much horse playing do you do as somebody who's a horse owner, too? I, I bet on my own horses a lot, so I, I back my own horses. And somebody asked me yesterday, was I nervous when I made I made a three million six three point six million dollar bet on the Super Bowl to Tampa Bay? Was I nervous? I'm more nervous watching one of my horses run than sweating one of these bets. Yeah, I was just going to say because uh, your your heart's more in it than just your wallet at that point, isn't it? Exactly right. And uh, I'll be in Lexington tomorrow morning watching my horses train before I come to Louisville. So. Should be a good horse field day, and hopefully essential quality will cross the line first and Churchill Downs. Are you someone who's active when it comes to sales and when it comes to the breeding of your horses? Yeah, I have about 56 thoroughbreds right now. So uh, we just bought one in Ocala a couple of weeks ago around Happy uh, Philly, and we're very active in the sales. We're active in breeding. We're active in uh, run Happy Stands at Claiborne, so they've done a great job helping promote him. So. I'm very active in the game. Also, uh, Run Happy is a big sponsor of a lot of horse races, and Run Happy is very active on the TBG and uh, Naira Telecast. So we're, we're very involved in the game, and this is another way to promote horse racing. Speaking of Run Happy and the way he did go about his campaigning as a Breeders' Cup winner, no Lasix, no medication. This Kentucky Derby will be the first in more than 40 years, I think it is, that will be Lasix-free. What are your thoughts about that? I think it's great. I think the more transparency horse racing can have, the more people know that these horses are running clean, uh, these wonderful, beautiful animals let them run on their own. I think it's better. When these trainers get uh, 30 and 40% win rates out of a nowhere, you know, there's, it's not good. Uh, uh, light uh, helps everything. We need to shine light on horse racing. That's a beautiful sport and run it without lacing, without butte, without all these drugs that, uh, uh, create artificial results so uh hay oats and water and run happy that's what i'm promoting yeah hay oats and water those are the magic words indeed along that line and how has the run happy promotion gone for you both from the standpoint of the brand but also in terms of your expectations for his work as a sire uh the, the brand is great run happy's uh, very much branded in the horse racing business his uh sire career got off to a very slow start the two-year-olds didn't do as well as we expected, but three-year-olds are coming on strong. In fact, Happy American just won a maiden race at Churchill yesterday, 115,000 on a mile and a quarter test. So uh, he's coming very strong right now. And the Run Happy rally continues. And the, I'm, a, <laughs> uh, I'm a total optimist. And when they knock me down, I get back up and Run Happy still running. Run the, the Run Happy rally. I like it. So, so you will arrive in Louisville uh, on Friday, right? Do I have that right? So I'll, I'll arrive in uh, Lexington late Friday night, early Saturday morning. I'll go watch my horses work out early, and I'll be in Louisville about 11 o'clock. Got it. Okay, so Kentucky Friday, and then you, uh, then on to Louisville, and then uh, then we're going to follow you around and, and watch when you're going to go ahead and, and, and sign the big bet slip, right? Watch my exploits. Hopefully, I'll get a ticket that says $2 million to win, on, uh, and, and hopefully that horse will win. Have you, have you been in contact with the Godolphin folks or Brad Cox, the trainer, to find out, you know, will they let you come around the winner's circle? Because you might be a, a good luck charm. No, I, they, they've worked very hard for years to try to get the winner's circle. I'll stay out of that. But I do know <laughs> Jimmy Bell very well, and I wish him all the best. He's a great representative uh, of horse racing, and uh, Jimmy and the Godolphin team have put a lot of money into the game, so I wish him all the best. Yeah, no, I saw Jimmy just the other day over uh, near Brad's barn and uh, we had a nice chat with him and it's always good to see him. And it's great to see you. I wish you the best of luck. Man, I'm telling you, I, I don't know how many people wish you luck when you're throwing the, the kind of zeros around that you are. It's, it's I don't know how much we have to do to uh, add to the confidence you have, but I'm certainly going to wish it. But uh, Jim McInvale, Mattress Mac, and again, uh, $3,000 mattress gallery furniture. And if... Uh, 
essential quality wins, you get your money back. Uh, that's that's the that's the exclamation point, right? It'll be an exciting Saturday at Churchill Downs. I hope to see essential quality and my friend Jimmy Bell in the winter circle. That'll make it an even better day. Thanks for being with me on the Ron Flatter Racing Pod. Thanks, Rod. Great, great talk to you. All right. Thanks, Mac. You Look bet. forward to seeing you. Thanks so Take much. Care. Thank All you. All right. Bye-bye.